From the looks of it, your district actually uh, is going to favor your race. Now that you're the only uh, Republican candidate in the race against Kathy Kasser, who is considered to be uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz's mini me. Absolutely. Uh, what do you think of this ra of the new district? Now, if it's if they hold, if the lines hold, uh, you picked up a considerable amount of Hispanics in the district. Does that bode well for you? How do you, what are you going? What's your strategy moving forward? Well, the strategy hasn't changed, regardless of what the district looks like. We're going with a, with a solid message of growth, with going with a solid message of responsibility out of Congress who set the foundation, the economic foundation for Tampa and the rest of the country for growth, which has been lacking. There hasn't been any leadership whatsoever for the past six years with Kathy Castro right here in Tampa. Nothing has happened. All the, all the precincts, all the neighborhoods are suppressed. Every action, every vote that she has taken has been in line with Obama and all has bode really bad for the city. There has been a higher unemployment rate, there are higher rates of foreclosure, above the average. It, it, it is ridiculous what has happened here, and she has not considered that at one point. We have, so what we're doing is we're actually addressing the issues with the city, with the key ingredients that will make the city tick, uh, economically speaking, and that will set the foundation for growth, such as committing ourselves to lowering taxes and control spending. Do you think because you're Hispanic, of Hispanic descent, do you think that more Hispanics in this district, and may, perhaps blacks who are also a minority, uh, you think they'll vote for you over a Kathy Castro because of, of her failed, her uh, adherence to the failed policy of the, of the Obama administration? Well, I do know that uh, the fact that I'm fully bilingual and I can relate the message in, in Spanish as well as in English, uh, that should help a little bit in, in helping these folks the community, total community, understand what our message is without any, ex uh, without any excuses. And uh, when it comes to the Hispanic community, if in the past, uh, and this is what I have heard, in the past they have, they, have, uh, they have kind of like walked away from the specific issues, well, we actually present a friendly face. We actually present um, a, a messenger that actually understands where they're coming from and actually presents a very fiscal conservative and a, and a strong conservative message with surprise. It's right in line with their values at home and with their economic values uh, for their businesses. So it is resonating and it does resonate. Now, I want to talk to you about uh, the situation in Cuba. Obviously, we, we all know that uh, the Chinese government is going to be drilling off Cuba's coast per the permission of uh, uh, Fidel Castro. Everyone knows we're going to be slant drilling. How do you make? What do you make of that? And the fact that Repsol, the the China, the I'm sorry, the Spanish company who's actually going to be doing the work, the Obama administration did not really uh, ad, oppose the their work for the Cuban government. There's a big correlation between the Chinese. There's a uh, there's an axis, if you would. Of evil, they, they use George W. Bush's words, but between uh, between China, Iran, Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, and Cuba. Well, there was a. It's been clear for about a hundred years that you don't mess in my backyard. And every president, uh, most of the United States presidents, have always made sure that any foreign power or enemy of the United States do not mess around in our backyard. China is doing it, and why is China doing it? Because Obama allows it. Obama actually doesn't understand that energy independence is a national security issue. Hands down. Unquestionable. He doesn't understand it. He doesn't get it. He cancels the Keystone Pipeline. But guess who understands that it is a national security? The Chinese. The Chinese understand that it is imperative for the survival of China to have energy independence. They're going all over the world. They're going to Africa. They're buying uh, complete uh, uh, countries, if you will, just for the oil. They're coming to South America. Venezuela is giving them platforms, full platforms for production of oil. And now they're going to steal our own oil. We know it. The United States uh, government under Obama knows it, and he hasn't done anything about it. Totally irresponsible. He's allowing for the United States oil, which is in, in U.S. waters, to be stolen, and he hasn't done anything to identify it as a national security interest.